Hello and good morning from Bangkok. Welcome back to my life and welcome back to another rainy day in my life actually. Today is just, it's a rainy day in Bangkok and uh, right now I'm going to office. So today we are going to talk about the interview process at Agoda. Interview process about software engineering at Agoda. Because a lot of people keep asking me what is the interview process, how does it work, what kind of questions, what kind of interviews are being done. So let's talk about it and before we get into the topic, let's get some coffee first. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. There is a button here down here somewhere. Click it and subscribe. Okay. So let's talk about the interview process. So when you're applying for a job position, let's say software engineer position, which includes senior staff and all levels, the first part is the recruiter screening. And recruiter is just gonna make sure that you are applying for the right location and right position, right? Then the next step is the coding interview. What's a coding interview? If you're a software engineer, you already know what a coding interview is. It's just like every coding interview, no difference. Some coding interviewer will be gonna be in on call with you. I'm gonna give you one or two questions to solve. The questions can be related with uh, problem solving, algorithms, and data structures, and uh, like sometimes it can be a design. Sometimes it can be mostly in the coding node. There are the only the problem solving questions. The difficulty of the question depend upon the candidate's level, but it's usually easy, medium, or hard. Only medium. It's uh, I have never seen anyone giving the hard questions, like including the dynamic programming and stuff. We usually don't do that, and because when we are this kind of questions takes a long time, and it's not possible to solve it within one hour. So we usually go with the easy medium or medium level questions. Usually in one hour there are one or two questions, and uh, if the candidate can solve it. And it is up to the expectations. I mean, during the interview, if he is discussing properly, the commun his communication is very clear, and uh, he can actually solve the question, and he can uh, make sure that the interviewer is also understanding what the candidate is doing. Then he can go with it. He can he can pass the interview. It's not the coding interviews. The first interviews are especially not very difficult. If the candidate is confident and he is going easy and he is uh, he's, he has some potential. He can do it. And the second interview comes only if the first interview is passed. If the candidate cannot pass the first interview, he will get the email like, okay, we cannot move forward with you. But if the candidate is passing, he can be moved to the next interview step. And the next interview step depends on if you are applying for the full stack position or the back end position. If you are applying for the full stack position, you will get a platform interview. And if you're applying up for the backend position, you will get a design and architecture interview. Now, what's the difference? Let's go to the seat and I will just explain it to you. Okay, so let's talk about the second interview, which is the design interview or the platform interview. So let's talk about the design interview first. So if you are applying for the backend engineer position, you will be having this design or architectural interview. So what happens is the interviewer is going to ask you about designing some use case. For example, if he's asking you to design an invoice system, design a POS system, something depends on the interview or whatever they have in mind. So you will have to basically give it a design and maybe the interviewer will also ask you to code it for him. Of course, it will not be a whole system, but uh, something. Maybe he will ask you to code the, uh, the, the same as the coding interview because the previous interview, previous interviewer, he mentioned that he, you might need to have a little more evaluation in the coding part. So that can also be the reason. But it can be either design, designing a system. He will be discussing you how you design is, what is your approach in this and uh, what kind of systems and what kind of components are you going to make, multi-tier architecture, or you're going to go with the microservices or whatever it is. That's going to be the design interview. And if you are applying for the front-end position, it's going to be the platform interview. Now in platform interview, the interviewer can ask about the web systems, 
about the process of the web application, anything related to the web. He, may, he might be asking you about the React or the framework dependent things. He might be asking you to uh, create some component, uh, design some component or something like that. So the platform interview is mostly for full stack developers or the front end, not front end actually, full stack developers. Then he, you will be asked about all the things related in a system more than coding actually. So expect anything related to the web in the platform interview. And then comes the third round. The third round is mostly the managerial round. Managerial round can be one or two interviews depending upon the situation. For example, if the first manager cannot decide, then he will be having another managerial round and getting the second opinion from another manager. So how that work is, in managerial interview, the manager will be uh, evaluating you on the basis of uh, your experience and also it will be evaluating you according to the culture if you can fit in Agoda are you a good fit for the team actually that manager will be the one who will be hiring you for his own team for example if there is a man you have a managerial interview then most probably he will be the manager of your team and you will be working under him so he is gonna evaluate you according to his own requirements and uh, after that if the manager approves you then you are done you will just get the offer maybe you will get the offer inside in that interview specifically or maybe he will have you will have another session with the manager or maybe the recruiter and you will have your offer so that's how it works anyway uh, that's all for today and uh, if you need any more information about some specific round or if you need any other information or you have any other question comment down and uh, i'll be happy to help you so goodbye for now and don't forget to subscribe Bye.